Hi guys, and welcome back to Mama Just Knits. I'm Jess, coming to you from Virginia. It is February the 15th, 2020, and I can be found on Rivalry and Instagram as Mama Just Knits. I have a Rivalry group. It is under Mama Just Knits Podcast. I also have a Facebook group. It is under just Mama Just Knits. Or you can email me at mamajustknits at gmail.com. I hope you guys have been having a good week. We've been getting lots of rain. So it has caused my allergies to act up. So if I do sneeze during this video, I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. Um, I have been sneezing pretty much on and off all day long. Um, when it rains, it makes... My old, my mold allergies act up, so fortunately there's not much I can do about it. I already take an allergy medicine every single day. Alright, I'm going to jump right in because I have a lot to show you guys today. So I'm going to start with finished objects. And I have, the ends are not woven in, but they're finished. They're done being knit. I have dishcloth number five in the Grandma's Favorite uh, by PJ Allen. And the yarn is Hobby Lobby in the spunky color work. So now I have two of those. One with the ends woven in and one without. <laughs> um, so that's dishcloth number five. I then have dishcloth number six, which I really like this one. I think it's kind of nice and bright and cheerful. Um, this is also the mama's or grandma's favorite uh, dishcloth, washcloth by PJ Allen. And this is in the um, Hobby Lobby in the brights colorway. Sorry, uh, but I did warn you it was coming. Um, and then I have, oh, I finished Avery's hat. This is the barley hat by Tin Can Knits, and it is done in uh, Malabrigo Worsted in the Shocking Pink colorway. As you can see, it's got several different shades of pink. One of the pinks is like an orangish pink. I just realized she has already gotten something on here because I actually did let her wear this to school on Valentine's Day. I finished it Thursday night, so she got to wear it to school on Valentine's Day, which is perfect because, you know, it's pink. Um, so she was super excited and then, of course, immediately asked when I was going to make her dolls. I'm getting on it. <laughs> um, so that is all I have for finished objects, but I do have a hoe. I have a half-finished object, which I just finished today. Um, this is one of my Valentine socks made out of my um, Hippo for Valentine's by Lolo Did It. Um, this is in her everyday sock base. So, I got one finished today. I think when I woke up this morning I was right about here. Maybe here. Um... But I was pretty determined to get at least one done today. And yes, I know I said it's Valentine's, but and Valentine's Day has passed. I hope you guys all had a great Valentine's Day. Um, but I'm going to put these in a box of socks um, for next year. Um, I have decided that I'm going to try to do a entire box of socks made out of... Um, Lolo did it's 
uh, hippo for the holidays. She has various different hippos um, colorways. And then she also has Yeti um, colorways, which I have one of those. Um, but anyway, I'm going to try to do an entire 12 pairs. So a box of socks out of just Lolo did it. Um, in the ho Hippo for Holidays or the Yeti colorways. So that is all I have for, um, sorry, I just got a text message. Um, that's all I have for finished objects or half finished objects. So I'm going to move on to works in progress. <laughs> I started my second, uh, Valentine's sock. Literally, it just has like <laughs> three rows done. Um, so that's my first work in progress. Um, I, and that of course is out of the Lolo did it. Um, hippo for Valentine's. Then I have my scrappy socks, which I am happy to report that I am on, uh oh, there we go. Um, I am actually just starting the heel of them, and I've decided that I'm going to do the heels and probably the heel turn, um, so the complete heel in purples. And then once I get started on the foot, I'm going to switch the color. I just figured it would be better to just do the heel all in one color and not have to worry about tying on. Because as you can see, last time I had one come untied and now I've got to weave that in and make sure it's really good and tight in there. Um, and I am taking the scraps that I have from my Knit Picks bleachy yarn and I'm just kind of making my own um, stripes for my little scrappy striped socks. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I do know that the next color I believe is going to be green I think and then I'm thinking maybe pink and then blue. I haven't completely decided yet but I do know that the next color is going to be green. I have decided on that. So, um, that is that, and then I did manage to get a little bit done on my test knit that I, hat that I'm test knitting for Comfort Zone Knits, which unfortunately is already out, because like I said, I, I flaked on it, forgot that I had it, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last podcast or if it happened after that podcast. I think it happened after that podcast. Um, Bear had run out of the house and I was trying to grab his collar to stop him and I ended up straining these two. I smashed this, uh, my pinky, and then I ended up, I guess, pulling something in these two fingers. So it kind of hurt to do like that. So it made it really hard to knit. Um, I had to take a couple days um, break on knitting. And even this morning, I noticed that they're still a little tender to, to bend. Um, but once I bend them and I get started knitting, then um, then they're fine. It's just like whenever I just first get started, that initial pain right through my knuckles starts back up. And then this week, unfortunately, he got this thumb, or this pinky rather, he doesn't mean to hurt, but he does hurt. Um, he's still a pup, so I have to forgive him and just continue to work with him on training on the leash and stuff and work on him to try to get him to not run out of the house just because the front door is open or to open the front uh, glass door and go. Anyway, this is my test knit hat. Um, I've only gotten a few more rows done on it, but you can see that the pattern is starting. So, 
And unfortunately, not unfortunately for her, but unfortunately for me, because I really wanted to have this test knit done, um, she has published the pattern. So, um, the pattern is out. I am so sorry. I could not think of what the name of the hat is. Um, I will look it up and I will post it on the screen below. Anyway, I am doing this in Malabrigo Rios in the Lotus colorway. Oh, see there, you can see the, the pattern starting really well. Anyway, um, I'm at a point in the pattern where I had to stop because it was a new to me stitch um, that was going to be coming up in the next row. And um, it's something I've got to be able to sit down without the kids running around and really concentrate on because it's a new to me stitch. I don't know how to do it. I'm going to have to look up her tutorial and go from there. Um, but once I get past that row and I'm actually able to sit down and do that, um, I think I'll be able to kind of move along pretty quickly on that. Um, let's see here. My next work in progress. I'm sorry for all the crinkling. It has gotten buried. It's got buried in here. It is my scrappy memory blanket. Um, and I based this blanket on the memory blanket by Georgie Nicholson. And I've gotten a couple more couple more rows or a couple more blocks done. I can't remember exactly what I had done last. Um, I think I have actually only added this square which was the um, frog prints from Knit Picks. This square which is actually some of my um, Hippo for Valentine's Day. Um, I think I mentioned it on my last podcast. I had to rip out a sock and then I decided to re knit up that yarn. Well, this is the the yarn that I part of the yarn I ripped out from that other sock that I had started. Um and the pattern just wasn't working for me. And then I think this wasn't here before and Maybe these two. I can't remember for sure. This is another Lolo did it. Um, in her... I want to say either Lucky or Shamrock. I got that to do some St. Patrick's Day socks last year. And it actually matches this square. But yeah. So I don't have a lot of squares. I got to the end of this and I've got a tie on some more because that's all I have and I have a few more rows to go on that one and then I can add some more to it later and then I finally started your socks Lane aren't you excited I actually wanted to have them further along than they are but Life happens. So, these are the start of your socks, Lane. You'll have to tell me what you think. Um, these are done out of the um, Cascade Yarn. Oh, here we go. Cascade Yarn and the Heritage Print. Um, and the colorway is 21. <laughs> um, when I saw this yarn, I immediately thought of you because I know you said that you wanted green and blue in your socks. So we've got some green, a little bluish green, and then blue. So I hope you like them. 
I'll get them to you sooner or later. Um, but they are started. So, no more excuses. They're on the needles. Just uh, get to work on them here and there. And those are being kept in my ginger snap that bag. My little hedgehogs. Love my little hedgehogs. Let's see. Oh. I. This is a really small work in progress, but I am. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, you guys. I got. Everything just kind of stuffed in here. So this is uh, wash slash dishcloth number seven. Barely have it started, but it is started. And that is also in the Grandma's Favorite by PJ Allen. And the yarn is Hobby Lobby Deep Till. Love this yarn, you guys. I mean, it's like so silky so smooth it's great um so there's that and then i have actually for my alicia Plummer um knit because i'm pretty sure i mentioned on my past couple podcast at least the last one for sure that i plan on knitting I'm going to do a year of Alicia Plummer, and I'm planning on knitting on, at least starting, a new project by her every month, um, trying to build my uh, hand-knit wardrobe, because I honestly have a hat that I wear often, a cowl that I wear often, and a shawl that I wear. And everything else is just being housed in a bin. Or my kids have taken over it. Which I love that they're... That they love hand-knit items. But sometimes I would like to keep some of the stuff I knit. <laughs> I often give away stuff too. So make things for friends and things like that. But this is my... This month's... Um, Alicia Plummer knit. And this is the covered shawl. And actually it's going to go like this. It's a gorgeous shawl. I've made one before. Um, but it is called Covered by Alicia Plummer. And it is really getting blown out. Because it's more like this color right here. That's true to color. Um... I am making that in Barocco Vintage in the pumpkin colorway. And so far, this is the first skein. And I still have a good, good chunk of it left. Um, I think the other one I made, I only used two or a little over two skeins um a little over I believe a little over two skeins um to make and I made that one in um a wine color and I think that's in like my second or third video maybe um because I did make that quite a while ago um but I love it I love the shawl it's a great pattern easy to follow um, it's not, um, a pattern that you get bored with it, but it's also not one that you have to, it's not one that you couldn't watch TV and do, or that you couldn't, you know, listen to an audio book and do. Um, so yeah, it's a, a great, um, catch up on podcast or listen to an audio book kind of project. Um, and I think I've showed, I've actually shown that one before and I did four rows on it last night, I think. 
So I just picked it back up and started working on it, but it's a work in progress. So I wanted to show it. Um, because hopefully I'll get a little bit further on it this, this week. Um, anyway, um, up next, what is going to be up next? So up next, I need to pick my March Alicia Plummer knit. I want to go ahead and get that picked out. Um, so I think that I will be able to do another podcast um probably Sunday of next week um and then the one after that I may I should be able to do that one Sunday also I'm going out of town um by myself um well with a friend uh, one day we're going out of town and, um, I am also planning on a little mommy vacation and staying in a hotel, um, just for a break. So I may film my podcast there, or I may just wait until I get home Sunday and film it. I haven't decided yet, but I'm trying to get back to doing my podcast like Sunday morning um, I was doing it Tuesday, um, after work and school and it's just become too much to try to do it during the week. Um, actually I thought about waiting and not doing this podcast until Monday on President's Day cause we're off that day, but then I changed my mind and decided to go ahead and do it tonight while I have time. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. I also need to, there's a couple of projects that are on needles that I'd like to get finished. Like I have a night shift shawl on needles. Um, I've got a couple of cowls on needles, some hats. Um, anyway, just things like that, that I can slowly start to get off needles. Um, I plan on continuing on with my dishcloth challenge and my box of socks challenge Except for I'm changing my box socks challenge a little bit, um, I think. I know for sure I'm going to do a box of just Lolo Did It yarns, um, the Hippo and the Yeti. Um, but I'm also thinking about doing another using, um, like new to me yarns. Yarns I haven't made socks out of before or... Maybe not completely that I haven't made socks out be out of before. Because I have a lot of Knit Picks Felici. Um, I really love it. And I have a lot of Knit Picks Stroll. Both of which I've used before. But <clears throat> I definitely want to make myself some socks out of those. So I'm going to continue those challenges. Um, I've got two baby blankets to start. And one that is already being crocheted and the little boy is two now I believe yeah or gonna be two so I need to get that done because he has a brother and a sister on the way found out the twins are boy girl twins so I'd like to knit them some blankets too sooner or later <laughs> And I need to start Avery's doll hat, um, which I will probably, I'll probably start that maybe Monday. Um, that's not going to take me very long because it's just a baby hat and the baby hats, um, that I've done in the past haven't taken me very long at all. Although because I have all these other projects, um, on needles, it might take me a little while longer now that I said it won't take me any time at all. Um, so yeah, that's what's up next. And now I am going to show you the craziness called mail call. Um, so I think I mentioned last time that I had gotten a, um, a knit crate box. And I have no idea where I've put that box. I tend to do this. I tend to hide things. Or 
put them away and then forget where I put them. Um, however, I did get my second month of Knit Crate in the mail today. And I'm going to be completely honest. I was not blown away. Um, I do love the softness of, of the yarn. I am not thrilled with the color of it. This is the second month in a row, because I've only gotten two, that both colors are pretty muted um, towards the gray side. Um, and I signed up for like blues and greens. Yes, the other one was blue, but it was a blue gray. And this one is a really light green. Um, at first when I took it out of the box, I thought it was gray. Um, so it's like a grayish green. Um, so I'm going to show you. Um, so in my knit, knit crate box, which comes like this, I open it up <coughs> and here's the yarn. It's kind of blah. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't blown away. Um, this is the, the yarn. And it is 75% um, superwash merino wool, 15% nylon, and 10% cashmere. I love the cashmere. It's super soft. Um, I'll probably, I don't know, make some mitts out of it or something. Or I might just make me some super duper soft socks. Like I said, it wasn't really thrilled. Um, came with a pen and a book, which the book's got, um, let me just see if I can show you a picture without showing any of the pattern. Um, so the book has some cute little mitts in it that I thought about doing. Not 100% sure yet. I think what I need to do is go in and change my color choice to maybe like the surprise me or brights or something. I don't know. Um, I think I will give it another month. Um, if I'm not completely blown away, then I will cancel my subscription. Um, so that's my first thing to show you. Sorry, there was a little pop-up message. Um, so I have heard all kinds of people talking about bear no. Um, tuft, well, I'm sorry guys, I gotta pause this for a second. 